Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. In this video I am going to stream a brand new game. After ending basically Marvel's Avengers. This game is Guardians of the Galaxy. I've messed around with it to see how the controls work. And uh, yeah, the, the game seems fucking perfect. Um, sorry for cursing. But this game is just beautiful. The controls, they worked perfectly. Everything just seems perfect with this game. So I'm going to begin my playthrough. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the videos, if you guys like my channel in general, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It will help me out a lot, basically, to get monetized on YouTube. I would love for that to happen. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. Alright, so I'm going to put it on like the medium difficulty. Um, let me see. We got this. We got this probably. Alright, what do I say? Alright, I'm going with this difficulty. I'll just learn how to play the game. Oh, should I just go with normal? Yeah, it's better to just go with normal. So we're going with the normal difficulty, um, slow mode, I don't know what that means, damage dealt, uh, guardian school down duration, a lot of win, blah blah blah, I really don't know what these are but uh, yeah I'm gonna nix it and uh, hopefully when, I, when I'm when i playing the game I'll figure out what's going on with those controls that they're telling me about. Alright so guardian mode input, hold, blah blah blah. And there, let's go.
Traveling through space must be amazing. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. Hundreds of dollars someday. beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. Need to build up my calluses. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Keep hitting those dingers, George. You'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. The movie was okay. The soundtrack really kicked butt. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. I believe I caught this. That Maiden show was awesome! Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises.
Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacore finds us inside, which they won't. Groot, crush me nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacore. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't got the brains. Ha! I am Groot. Sure takes a genius to catch my ship. My ship? Who said that? Quill! No, I think I heard him. Ah, never mind. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. <laughs> Arrested? For what? <laughs> our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? <sighs> Details! <sighs> So, Drax, excited to meet our buyer after we catch the monster? Of course. Lady Hellbender is a legendary warrior, and a noble queen. And she's rich. That is not a prowess, simply a commercial fact. As long as she buys her monster, she doesn't need to be royalty. You are jealous of her status. No thanks! Being a queen means being born with a target on your back. Kind of like the one on yours. Ugh. <sighs> Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey, who said you could touch that? No. Nice. I'll go into your room Rocket and touch your stuff, cleaned Quill. Up the fur ball. What? You're welcome. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud <laughs> yeah okay so what is this thing anyway kind of looks like a metal face hugger that is clearly a spinal control unit yes right of course a, a spinal control thingy back on half world Cree scientists use these to keep us super soldiers in line uh, they press a big fun red button and zap Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. Sorry, man. I'll give you some space. moment of quiet reminds me of the legendary siege of Sekhov 7. Oh, not again. It is said that Lady Hellbender held her breath through 10 minutes. Wish you were here, Mom. Across the stars on the back of a great horned beast. And when she when arrived... When she arrived, she exhaled, and the wind blew... Almost 20 years, and those tracks are still fire. If he realized it didn't make no sense, he wouldn't be telling it. Drax! <laughs> About Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. All good, buddy? I am Groot. 
You know, I don't understand you, group, but I'm going to assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She's waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. Groot really needs to get these plants under control. <laughs> oh yeah, you remember that dealer who asked about the emitters? After you left, he... <laughs> He leans over me, and he says, Uh, w w what do you need these for, then? <laughs> yeah, like I'm turning the Milano into a dance club or something. Please refrain from creating this club of dance. Yeah, yeah, we all know how you feel about dancing. Well, what was I supposed to tell him? Uh, you know, I uh, need them to build uh, some ultrasonic lures so my team of ex-cons can trap a mystery creature in the most uh, legal place in the Quadrant. You want to throw in a discount? <laughs> nice gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> all right, I'll let you get back to it. Sounds like catching that monster will be easier than we thought. Yeah, the faster we catch it, the faster we get paid. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing. Feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we breach that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. Morgoth, be with you. Hey, Morgoth yourself. I am cool. Morgoth is a politeness thing. Catathian customs don't make no sense to me, bud. Okay, here we go. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova Net still up? Thought we were going in. 
Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero, four, five, one. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate there. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Roland. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quill suit up. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. The ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. For one, done. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Mora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. can you imagine? Uh, okay, guess we're taking the long way now? Just. Oh! Huh. You okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This, uh. I think resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. Yep. Being here definitely feels a little weird. Yo, well, these coordinates are so reliable. How come we're the only ones out here trying to catch this thing? You find something we could sell? Nah, just some old correspondence. You know how I like to brush up on galactic war history. Um, no? Don't think I've ever seen you read anything without pictures. I read plenty of non-picture stuff. Thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Ebrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! 
Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Novacore freight. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? Flat broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Yes, whoa! I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig. Before you-know-who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. I am I'm not being insensitive. I'm curious. And kind of jealous. That way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group, you think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? Oh, you happy, Quill? That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> of course he could know. I told him. Your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Uh, that is one big mushroom. Uh, fungus, bacteria, mold, space gunk. You know, call it what you want. It's still in the way. Take that, brittle stuff. I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkas would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, 
Yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old breaths. Ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. <clears throat> Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, oh, hey, little guy. Oh, what the fuck? You dead, Quill? We can hear your woodsy squeal. A little busy! Crap! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. <laughs> Not falling for this again. Bye bye, little guy! Funny. Hey, Drax, what makes you so sure this hell lady is gonna buy our one? Her name is Lady Hellbender. And her collection of rare creatures is outdone only by the wealth she showers on those who procure them. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like, you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. If we set up all these thumpers and no monster shows, we'll just need to salvage what scrap we can and haul it back with us. Yeah, scrubbing off all that nano resin would take forever. Mother of Scott! No! Uh, are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. I can hear your visor work. Better not be cheating on our bet, Quill. How can you hear that? All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, no! That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. I am Groot. Do I look worried? The resin will hold. I am Groot. You ain't that heavy. We gotta go that way, across the gap. Somehow. All this firepower. 
Now it's all just scrap. I am Groot. Rocket, can you get us onto that junk heap? Uh, I ain't that flexible. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greeny, you see any blue and gold ships out there? You let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we will restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark that! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wire. So, Drax, how come you're so in love with this Hellbender lady? Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... It's minuscule, at best. I'll be fine! Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 Scott! If I don't rewire this fast, it's gonna short circuit! Sorry to burst your bubble! We're just killing party favors! to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go.
I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Hi, Groot. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster- Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off, and we're- Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? Man, that thing is ridiculous. Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space-worthy. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Impressive, but I could fly circles around something that big. Give me a fast and sexy M-Class scout over those things any day. I do appreciate that sweet Ravager pirate tech. She's made for hidden runs. <laughs> and boy, can she run. She can hit, too. There's always room for more firepower, Quill. That sentry probably took on whole fleets. This old Kree tech gets me wondering, where would I be now if those blue butt scots managed to keep me locked into their half-world experiments? Hi. Yeah, chances are you'd be climbing over bits of me right now. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! Any bets on what this monster's gonna look like? <laughs> How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? It will be majestic. What does that look like? We shall see. Here goes nothing! <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head! And I got robot parts inside my head! You have robot parts inside your head. Inside! <laughs> hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? I mean, with the units still owe me once I win. <laughs> Don't congratulate him! Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. Suck, Star God! Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hypersurfaces. Boo! No one knows what those are! I'm having the time of my life. Quill, shoot down a nest if you're having fun! Speak for itself. <sighs> 
Wonder how many big bot carcasses we'd find looking around the entire zone. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Gotta love that kill radius. Dude, we really need to test these things. Appreciate the confidence of my work, but yes! Watch your butt! <laughs> Don't feel bad, buddy! They started it! <laughs> Darn it! I thought we were safe! Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with junk slugs? Don't gawk at it! Shoot it! Very helpful, thanks! You're welcome! Now stop distracting me! String them up! How are there this many of them? About to be one less! See? I knew you'd get it! Come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. going the right way. Just keep your eyes on that mining ship. That's where we want to end up. What's a mining ship doing in the middle of all these fighters anyway? Eh, they don't call them casualties of war for nothing. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. It's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! Oh, no! no. Okay! 
<laughs> you flarkin' piece of moldy driftwood, you could have died saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a chug. Come on, Quill. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Signal just went dark. His radio must have broke when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? He ain't timber. He's alive. So? I, I really don't know if you're being clever or dumb right now. Team Rocket, out. Uh, sounds like Green Team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Groot's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. An accident, Rocket? Come on! What? That's all it was. It's your fault! If you had to move around on that ship... I did it! You don't know nothing. Stop trying to be smart. That sure didn't sound like an apology. Nope! Uh. On the next mission, I do not wish to be on Green Team. Ditto. All the five-person jobs I know are heists. No more heists. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ship's on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you... Well, either shut up or help me figure out how these blades open. <clears throat> There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah. A manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thunder points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around to get another spot. Just make sure the new spot is as close as possible to the original one. Because of ah, maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Ooh, ooh. Someone's been practicing. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. Come, 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 come. It wasn't me this time, I swear! Someone, and that someone's gonna be me! Sorry. Oh, come on! 
Spark and tensor joint. Just neat. Wiggle the... Okay, so life support's brewed back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space bars. It's just... old cleaner bots maybe old cleaner bots you don't know <laughs> <laughs> about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. I am cool. We're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us. Right, Quill? <laughs> yep. Just a freaky floating creature. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking of freaky creatures, want to bet green team's having trouble parking the ship? I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. <laughs> so, Groot, you run into any trouble getting into the rig? I'm Groot. Good. I, I was pretty worried about you. Rendezvous coordinates are that way, but we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Look at this old beauty. I am a table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. Nice and crafty. Hey, Quill! Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here! 
no, 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 no. Small marvel crafted. Yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. Yeah, that's one stubborn bunch of war. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep pelting it. You gotta time it just right to overcharge the phase pool. Come on, Will, put them peas through the- Oh yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh, thanks for the upgrade. Alright, let's squeeze our way out of here. Oh, after you. Uh, no, you go first. I'll cover your back. Perfectly safe, right? I don't trust your definition of safe. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. Well, Scott! Ugh, this place is crawling with ugly! Guys, I'm not alone down here! I've ever seen! <laughs> what? Perfect. Oh, perfect! Groove says we got more fun! Knuckle sandwich time! Give him one from me, Quill! Man, Rocket, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket. Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. What a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. Make a 
fine duo, Peter Quill. You stab with my sample! My turn! Chop them up! near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. That was my baby. You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. Anyone got any bright ideas? If you're not gonna use that visor, give it to me. She covets the forbidden knowledge of your magic glasses, Peter Quill. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. Your heads. That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Some more stuff for me, Drax. Where shall I relocate it? Hold that for me, bud. Certainly. Need your muscles again, Drax. It'll look real good right here. It shall be done. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing the assassin. All right, rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah, uh, good for you. Oh, yeah. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We. Oh, fuck. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was rushed. Probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. There is a distinct sensation navigating this room. Katathians call it the Shadow's Gate. Well, we got some time. We got company. Is this from the last supper?
massacre everywhere, laughing at us. And yet, we cannot retreat. No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's flarkin' scary out there, Quill. Alright, alright, listen. This isn't our first rodeo, guys. Problem is, if we play it cocky, just one little mistake and they're gonna bring us down. Who's with me? You are right! How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. I am Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind me. Excuse me? Looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it uh doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sounds? You can't hear that! Hear what? Our monster. Hey, that thing is fast! Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. Lady Hellbender will pay extra if it is poisonous. That's one less thing to hide behind. Abomination. Perhaps you speak this language. Ugly, smelly, gas more common with you. But it can still run! Gotta be some way to slow it down! Hala! That thing stinks! What? I don't smell anything! Somebody just grab it! I ain't that fast! Oh, 
fuck is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the... You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. Alright. Enough with the warm-up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Cracks, go! You screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, 
Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Say Hal is Hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter Jason Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, hey Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill? Of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? I am Quill. Oh, the airlock. Oh, I really shouldn't have hung up on her. What about the crate? Leave it. We'll handle this. Krell and I have history together. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, I will get us out of this. Trust me. has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. 
Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. Techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is. I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say mom? Just to be no, super clear on the mom thing.
Did that go, was it? Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No, you're my prisoner, and I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another black. Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here! <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably Rocket. Prison cells make him jumpy. Any day now. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's... Easy, does it? There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just, it's... I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. It gives them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. Okay, wow! That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. For your information, there's an escape hatch back here I could totally use to run away. But out of respect for your authority, I'm gonna, you know, ignore it and follow your lead. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not, but what else am I gonna do? 
Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So Mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, uh, is a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy. And judgmental? You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Yeah, could you please try to keep up? Hey, you try walking around in cuffs. This way. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. Get back here, pirate! Wow, wow, okay. Could have sworn I heard Corel there for a second. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no! Oh, wow! Don't laugh. No, no! This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. These gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to... Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, 
thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Oh! Almost. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Lee Waite doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar is secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarter. Finally. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. I'm just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep bop boop. Boop, boop, beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. <sighs> 
So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same... I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... Whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 9,000 units in three cycles. Wow, that, okay. That is a lot of money. Look, here, I was thinking that the maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship and a Class II biohazard. I couldn't decide which one to hide. Peter. Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on, when have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 9,000 units is a small price. 9,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter a and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a Rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch! Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. Peter Quill! Tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. 
How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Sweet tracks. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door! I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. Ugh, this investigation is pointless. Oh, Groot. Groot? You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? <laughs> Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> so, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... An Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the... dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing, and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My us, figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will Scott sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Tell Groot, 
I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just been... 